Hey folks, this is your host, the one, the only, Thrifty Gamer 83 here, just to say I am really excited for the Nintendo Switch. I am really looking forward to seeing what that little console can do from Nintendo yet again. But, as I wait with bated breath, as I wait to someday see if I get it under a Christmas tree, I cannot help but feel that perhaps, mind you, perhaps this could turn into another Wii U, it could turn into another Nintendo GameCube, which really doesn't meet the sales expectations and markets. The Nintendo Switch is a system which looks like it could really compete and really bring Nintendo back to the relevance of being the big time first console. However, it also has to look at the past. It has to look at where the Wii U failed. It has to look at why the Wii was so successful and why also the GameCube, an underpowered little box so full of fun, could also underachieve and underperform in sales. That is where Nintendo is at right now. The dramatic losses due to the Wii U really have consumers looking at Nintendo and thinking, do they know what they are doing? My take is yes. Nintendo does know what it is doing. The Nintendo Switch is pitched to be a perfect home run console, which really you can use at home and for travel. People just take a look at Nintendo and think, well, the Wii U kind of failed. Yes, it did fail, but it also brought about that tablet, that ingenious tablet. Now, if the tablet range had had something which could hold games onto it, it would not have tanked so badly. It could have been something that consumers said, Hey, you know what? They made a separate tablet console that we can take on the road and actually play some of these titles. You know, if they had added a little slot here and there and a SD card slot, yes, then you could as well enjoy the games on the road without really having to worry about how far away you were. The technology was there at the time, but Nintendo was kind of hesitant, and at that time, in the consumer gaming market, it cost Nintendo dearly not to throw everything they had into the product to show consumer devotion to have a console which could compete for years to come. Instead, what Nintendo did was they put their head in the sand and they said, well, we will let Sony and Microsoft run right over us. And, you know, it kind of reminds me of a time in high school. I was playing football. I caught an onside kick and I got creamed. But I hung on to the ball, folks. And Nintendo, sadly, Nintendo did not hold on to the ball. Sadly, Nintendo took that onside kick and got splattered. Nintendo just never saw it coming. Nintendo just really could not compete with the final death throes of the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 as well as the advancing Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Nintendo was ill-prepared with the Wii U if they had waited, if they had brought about those technologies which they put into the Switch, which the Switch will be comparatively underpowered in this generation again, then they would have been able to stave off creating an entirely new concept and console line. The Nintendo Switch would have been something that they could have set aside. Instead, the Wii U tanked. It tanked dramatically. The Switch, on the other hand, looks like it will finally be that console that the Wii U should have been. And I know Nintendo did not like getting creamed. Right now, this is a point where they have to look at the video game futures market, and they have to look at rebuilding consumer goodwill and faith, as well as trust, that they will not abandon a console line, and that they will come prepared this time to actually put everything they have of remembering customer loyalty and allowing the consumers to truthfully enjoy the console 
without having to worry about whether or not it will be abandoned. Sadly, I know, Satara Awada's passing played a massive part in why the Wii U failed and why the technology simply was not waited upon. It was the last ditch effort and sadly, 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 it did not pay off. Awada was one of the most intelligent businessmen, one of the most generous, and one of the most honorable that we have seen in the video game economical cycles. Currently, we really don't know what Nintendo plans to do. We don't know whether or not the Switch will actually work out. When I look at the Switch advertisements and I see the Switch website, I simply cannot help but feel that it reminds me of the Oyua. This really looks kind of... They kind of play it down. They are downplaying the Nintendo Switch, which could work and beneficially bring Nintendo back, but as well, if it works as well as the Oyua did for marketing and just the blandness of the marketing approach, it will not faithfully succeed, and it will leave consumers just wondering, what were you doing, Nintendo? Why? Why did we put money into you again? I hope it does not come down to that. I hope to have a Nintendo Switch under the Christmas tree. I really look forward to it. It looks like a powerhouse console. I know it's not going to be as powerful, but it looks like it's still going to be a lot of fun. It looks like it's going to have a lot of co-op games together on a couch, as well as being able to take it with you. All right, folks. Rant, rave, love, hate. I've enjoyed making this video. I've enjoyed playing The Conduit. Have a good one.